What's up guys, it's Ryan Sher here again with Dex3. We got version 3.13.05 here in front of us. In this new version, we've upgraded the Lyric skin that's included. Uh, the Lyric skin is designed for karaoke specific use. And we've done a number of improvements to the interface, as well as added a couple capabilities uh, and tweaked some existing functionality to just make it that much easier to host karaoke shows with Dex3. Now, one thing, one big tip, before you switch to the Lyric skin, it's important to make sure the crossfader position on the default Dex3 skins is all the way over to the left deck, under the deck A side prior to switching to the Lyric skin. And I'll show you why real quick. If you leave the crossfader idle in the middle position or anywhere in between the deck A side and deck B side, it's gonna be a blended mixed video output. So the, the video that the audience would see, as you can see right here, is gonna be a bit faded. And if you had something loaded in deck, a, uh, deck B, if it's a video or another karaoke track, you're gonna see some of that bleeding through. So the key is to take the crossfader, move it all the way to the deck A side before you switch over the, to the new Lyric skins. Uh, so now that we've done that, we can go into options and under the general tab here where it says select user interface from the drop down menu, select one of the new Lyric skin options. I'm going to use the default skin for demonstration purposes. So now that we've loaded the decks, or rather the lyrics skin for Dex3, there's a number of changes here that I want to point out real quick. One is now we have a tempo slider, so you have tempo adjust on the lyrics skin. Um, Dex3's main skin, the main GUI, has always had tempo control for any deck. A lot of users had requested tempo control for lyrics. Evidently, a lot of karaoke hosts like to speed up or slow down songs at times. So you now have that capability independent of key control. So where the slider is used to be the key stepper and you'd have to manually kind of move this up and down, which was a bit cumbersome when you use key stepping a lot. So we've relocated key to a little box above the slider with plus and minus buttons that'll allow you to take uh, key steps and semitones, quarter steps, half steps, full steps. And then you have an independent tempo slider right there below it. So that's new. Uh, you also have some under the hood tweaks to the key stepping algorithm to the engine there. Uh, the key stepping is more accurate, more precise than it has been in prior iterations. Uh, that also coincides with the key detection algorithm, uh, which is a little more accurate as well. You know, our software will, Lyrics will, and Dex3 will automatically calculate your key and dis display it in both the musical notation, you know, the musical key, as well as the Camelot scale key, uh, which is separated by a forward slash within the tag of the track. So you still have that. And of course, when you adjust key, you know, you'll see it actually change the physical key, the actual key of the song, in addition to the, how many steps you've taken, uh, which is a nice function of lyrics. So the big thing now, the one function I wanted to demonstrate for you today, and a, and a big change to make things a little easier is if you recall in previous versions, in order to search a singer's history, you had to first click on history, and in the search box, you'd have to type the S colon singer's name. Okay, so not that difficult, but you had to leave the area you were potentially in. If you were browsing a list or something, you had to go click on history, type in the S colon, and then immediately after it, the singer's name. There's quite a few things that can go wrong there, especially when you're in a gig. It's a dark environment, and you're trying to just do things as swiftly as humanly possible. So now what we've done is we've made a new little button here with an S on it. That is now your single search, uh, rather singer search toggle button. So if you toggle it on, it'll change red in color. And then you just type in the singer's name and boom, you're going to get all your singer results right away. So I didn't have to leave any lists. I didn't have to click on history, type in S colon. It's just a matter of toggling the S on and typing in the singer's name. So I type in my name, got a couple songs in there and that's it. So once you've located a song, you know, just like in previous iterations, you can just take the track you want to add to rotation, drag it on top of the singer's name, and it'll go and populate their name. And obviously, if there's no, they're not already in rotation, 
you can just simply drag it over and it'll populate with both the singer's name and the song you just dragged over, ready to go, in rotation, all set to sing some karaoke. Uh, so that's really it in this new iteration, other than some under the hood performance improvements. It's more of a maintenance release. But this new lyric skin should definitely make it easier on those that are having karaoke nights where they just want to do karaoke. They just need a basic, more basic interface for doing karaoke specific events. The new lyric skins that are built in, either the lyrics 12 skin or the default, are perfect for that type of function. If you got any questions about the new Dex 3.13.0.5 or the new lyric skins, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks.